Then the Holy Spirit revealed and opened us all the mysteries in there, the, how He's brought His church through history. And if you don't have the seven church ages on tape, it would be good if you listen to them, and soon they'll be in book form. And then I have been reading Dr. Larkin's book, Dr. Smith's book, Dr. Schofield's notes, different commentaries from man everywhere, and yet I cannot put theirs together to make it come out right, see. The character of the Church of Ephesus is a fair outline of the church period from A.D. 70 to A.D. 170. Now the first church age started about A.D. 53 when Paul established the church in, in Ephesus and the church age left over to 170. Then, after the Ephesian church age from A.D. 53 until A.D. 170. The complaint that Christ makes against this church is that it had left its first love. Its character is seen in its very name. For Ephesus means let go, to relax. It had become a backslidden church. Ephesus means... The very name Ephesus means let go, relax, backslidden. Called by God the backslidden church. Paul, who founded it, warned it of what should happen in his parting message. I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Acts 20, 29, 30. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock, also of your own selves. What's that man to look down through that and see a thing coming? Of your own selves shall man rise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. The significance of this warning is seen in the commendation of the message. Verses 6. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitanes, which I also hate. Here Paul's wolves are called Nicolaitanes. They were not a sect, but a party in the church, who were trying to establish a priestly order probably trying to model the church after the Old Testament order of priests, Levites, and common people. This is seen in the meaning of the word which is from Nico, to conquer, to overthrow, and Laos, the people, or laity. Here is Paul's wolves. These are the Nicolaitans. Now, what, let's break that word down, find out what we got before we go any farther. The word Nicolaitan is kind of a foreign thing to me. I've got every Greek election that I could find. Nicolaitan come from the word of Nick, N-I-C-K, oh wait, I believe I wrote it down here. N-I-C-K-O, Nico, which means to conquer or to overthrow. Nicolaitan, overthrow or conquer the laity. The object was to establish a holy order of men and place them over the laity, which was foreign to the New Testament plan, and call them not pastors but clergy, bishops, archbishops, cardinals, popes. Here we have the origin of the dogma of apostolic succession and the separation of the clergy from the laity, a thing that God hates. What they were trying to do here was trying to take the church where God had pastors and the Spirit of God moving by gifts in the church of the living God, and they were having a doctrine start that they were going to have some priests and bishops and popes and so forth. That God said He hated it. And then I 
They have been reading Dr. Larkin's book, Dr. Smith's book, Dr. Schofield's notes, different commentaries from man everywhere, and yet I cannot put theirs together to make it come out right, see.